Wait, are you telling me that nothing's different here? Seriously? Okay then. Hello everybody! Infinite Shinjo here, and welcome back to Let's Play Turbo once again. And I am here to bring you Pokemon Pokeverse. This was one of the few series that was suggested for me to play, and I'm gonna play it. I couldn't find a logo of my own, so I just made my own through text, so... If there is a real logo, I'm not aware of it. Alright, but it looks like it's basically Fire Red. I did read up on what this game is about, but I don't know specific details. So I'm more or less going into this blind. Oh, I'm going to have to change this text speed when I get the option. Because this is going to be a little bit of a... Excuse me? Who is that? It's a grotto fused with a... I couldn't even tell. Or is that a delta form? I, I know it's not actually a delta form, but I'm going to keep on calling it that. It, it's either going to be called delta form, Alolan form, Galarian form. Basically all the same. Basically just to say that this is a mon that has a different form change like Marowak to Alolan. But I do know that this game has some of them. So that's going to be pretty interesting to see. And I don't know. What are the options for his name? Mm. Your name will be Joey because I literally just watched an episode of the Trash Taste podcast. Not that I want him to be my rival or anything, but that's that's what I thought of. Although funny enough, I think it was episode like 7 or 8 that I just watched. So this episode is going to be very dated by the time it comes out. But more on that later. Let's switch to fast and... I'd like something either red or blue. Actually, red and blue together is green, right? Let's do that. I think I know my colors. Okay, I don't have running shoes yet. That's a good start. And I'm assuming that I have my potion in here. I have my potion in here. Although I do gotta be honest. If the starter choices are gonna be the same, I'm gonna be upset. So quote me on this later. Still gonna stop me and say, Hey, what are you doing going out into the grass, you idiot? So... Okay, yeah, there are a couple of minor design changes in the layout of the Pallet Town, but not enough. Those are Ultra Balls. Interesting. Okay. There are three Pokemon here, so I'm assuming that they're different, because if they're not different, then the game's just going to be kind of lackluster to say. Excuse me? Okay, so I'm technically right and I'm technically wrong. They are the original three trio, but they are different types. Let me guess, you're a dragon. Oh, a water type Charmander. But honestly, all three of these look super cool. Um, I don't know. I'm actually pretty torn on this one. I think I'm actually going to go with the Bulbasaur because I like the Bulbasaur's design. He's got a rock on his head and that's just adorable. I don't even know what I can name him. I'll name him... To make things a little bit more awkward, I'm gonna name him Brock because I want the first gym leader to actually be a rock type. But I'm not spelling it the same as the gym leader because I want to be sneaky. Oh, and of course you get the Charmander. Oh wait, that's bad. Maybe I made the wrong choice. Actually, I don't know if there's any right choice here. Let's look at Brock. Wait, you're a fire... Oh wait, that actually makes sense. Well, if that's the case, then that must mean that the starter's main types are swapped around. But they all get secondary types. So like, Bulbasaur would be fire ground, Squirtle would probably just be water grass, and Charmander would be... I don't want to say water dragon because that seems too obvious, but who knows. So this is actually going to be a pretty bad matchup for me, unless his secondary typing actually gives me an advantage. And let's see, Celt- wait. Oh my, what is this? This isn't randomized, is it? Celpin. Celebi? And... See, I don't even know, it looks like a water type, so I'm... I don't know. Oh right, he traced my flash fire. I'm dumb. Okay, he hits me. And I hit him. And we make it. 
So I'm wondering if it's a psychic type, because most psychic types have trace. I don't know. But is that normal? I don't think I have a randomized copy. I don't know if there is a randomized copy. I just downloaded the game. So, I won against Selpin, whoever that is. But at least this gives me an idea to see what the mons look like out here. Oh my gosh, what in the world happened to this region? You just transformed it into a maze, and I'm not sure if I'm vibing with this right now. And I'm at a dead end. Excellent! And who's here stopping me? Wait! What is that? A fighting type Abra? I can tell that this game's, uh, I guess better to say Delta Forms are a big part of the game. But at the same time, it's basically what people in the fandom, Pokemon fandom, wanted before. Because, like, back when Sun and Moon were getting to be popular before they actually came out, there was speculation about a fighting type Alakazam or something. So, who knows if that's actually what the type is. It certainly seems like it. But, it seems like... I wouldn't be surprised if they have a Water Arcanine here, because I know that was also one of the ones that was big that people wanted to have happen. But let me... Whoa... How may I help you? Tutor! Can you tutor me? Okay! So... What do you do? Deleter! Oh, that's cool! That's cool, they have a deleter and a- I'm assuming that's in the same for every Pokemon center? Hello? Trico Torchic Mudkip! <sighs> that's my goal for today. I need to get that Boulder Badge, but I need to go here first. Okay, so I just got a Pokemap and- well not a Pokemap. I just got a Pokedex and a Pokeball, or five Pokeballs. So I guess I'm actually out on my journey, but I need to get a map first from Joey's sister, which, if you wouldn't know any better, might actually be Serenity if you're following the Yu-Gi-Oh logic, but to be fair, I'm not sure if I follow any logic anymore. But I do have five Pokeballs, so if I wanted to pick up that Abra, I could. But I don't know if I wanna. Ooh, the, wait, this guy has a Pokeball, Poke Potion. That's what it's called. Okay, so how do I get back again? I think this might be the way. What? Dude, free experience! What? Are you Ice Dragon? Might be an Ice Dragon. Okay, I know that I probably shouldn't battle this thing, but it's gonna give me good experience, I feel. Much better than a Pichu. So, I'm, I'm gonna stick with it. A bit of a hiccup on the way, but I managed to actually do it. 14 experience. Never mind, I was wrong. And I might have actually gone the wrong way as well. What if I do this and this? Never thought I'd be amazed to get out of the first town. My goodness. And the worst part is I don't even have the running shoes. I do have the speed up button, but I feel like that's not going to help any. So before I go off into the next place, I do want to see what's here. That is not a bound suite. A very weird bounce suite. Okay. And you have a berry. Citrus. Dude, if I would have caught that without activating that citrus berry, that would have been perfect. Although I think I might have made a mistake with coming through here, because I might have to battle my rival. A Pokemon from an alternate universe. There is no info. Okay. And your name is Minnie. Sounds good to me. I'm literally very creative with these nicknames. Oh! Oh, they got fairy type in this game. Flame body? Okay. So I got the pink patrol here. Okay. Interesting. That's about as most as I can say from it. Although I might be stuck. I don't know. Because I know that I'm going to have to battle my rival here. But I don't know if I can get out of it. I kind of hope that I can get out of it. 
Oh, okay, I did it. I didn't realize I could jump on that ledge that way. Okay, then. So, before I head off further, I want to see what this man captures here. Because it's normally like a Weedle or something. A grass type! A grass type boy! Wait. So it seems like with the starters, they just swap around types. Like Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. One of them's fire, one of them's water, one of them's grass. They're just shuffled around. So... That means... Since Cyndaquil is a grass type, that means Chikorita must be a water type, and Totodile is a fire type? If Totodile is a fire type, I want to pick that up. I don't care if I already have a fire type, I want another one. Okay, so they changed up Route 2 as well. Interesting. Can I just go around like normal? I can and I can't. Perfect. Hope there's something... Really? Nothing at all I encounter here? That was a bit anticlimactic. So they got Galarian forms here. Neato. Who else is here? Another one. And you know, I don't remember if it's this game or another game. I guess I'll know for sure the more I play this game. But I know one of these three games that I downloaded in this session that I'm recording. A fairy type ghastly? But it's one of these three games that I recorded that has increased shiny chance. And I can't be bothered to remember which one it is. So it might be this one, it might not be this one. We'll find out eventually. And I got Mudslap. Oh, they have the broken EXP share. <laughs> it's not really broken. Not if you don't want it to be. Alright, so what's in the forest? Hello item, I want you. Pokeball. Okay. I know I'm going about a bit faster than I normally do, but I'm just more concerned with getting that... I think I need to clean my glasses for a bit, because what in the world am I looking at? So I can only assume it's an electric type. Unless it's a flying type. I made a mistake. You might be an electric and flying type though. Maybe? It's not a bug, at least, so I can still do decent damage to it. Oh, that actually kicked, knocked it out. I didn't think it was going to. Oh boy, Minnie got to level four. Cool. So who else is here besides Genki? Okay, where am I going? Hello. So you thought you were so smart. So this is the kind of humor that we got. Of course, to be fair, I did kind of do that back in the day, too. I always did the XD, XD. Although, I might be in danger. I'm in danger. Good job, Minnie. You did great. Although, to be fair, at the same time, I feel like I could probably just put in some rare candies and level up my mods that way. Because it looks like this is probably one of those games that you can do that. Just get a whole bunch of rare candies and level up your mods like crazy. But, I'm not going to do that. Why? I have no idea. I need to find a way through this. Genki is nothing but bad news. So you thought you were smart. Now you have to go all the way. Is that really all that this is? Oh, look at item. Thank you, Antidote. And that's a, that's a block. Oh, there's Cell Pin. You know, not going to lie. I actually like Cell Pin. Cell Pin looks pretty cool. Yeah, I'll capture it. Electric type? Oh, wait. I didn't realize how stupid I was. I literally said, it's an electric type. And I proceed to use a ground move on it. Well, just hope I can find another one. So, where do I go? Up here? This looks like a good spot. Hi, Genki. Is this the right way I'm going? Is this even a... Who in the heck thought it was a good idea to cross with Yokai Watch? I don't know much about Yokai Watch, but I do know that character. So I'm just here asking, just as a person playing a video game, why? 
Also, I think I'm back at the start anyway. <gasps> Cell pins back! You're not gonna die from full health, will you? Wait. It's not super effective because it's a ground type or an electric type. It's super effective because it's a fire type. So this is gonna take a while, I feel. So don't be surprised if, it, if a lot of cuts happen right here. I don't even know, is Genki from somewhere else that I'm not sure of? I don't recognize him. I feel like I'm going the right way now. Took like 20 minutes, but I finally... Don't make me do this. I love Cyndaquil. I might actually have to grab that if I, if I can get one. Oh my gosh, that's what it... Oh, I want to see... Wait. Oh, that's right. That's exactly what I... Hold up. This is a fire type. Cyndaquil's a grass type. Does that mean Totodile isn't changed? Please, please explain. Although I'm assuming that since they literally put two out of the three Johto starters at the start, I'm assuming that you can get Totodile pretty easy. I can only assume. Yeah, see, like, another trainer with a Cyndaquil. Actually, I picked the best matchup for facing them. Except when they paralyze me. I mean, I got a fire move for the Cyndaquil and a ground move for the Chikorita. <gasps> Ice type! I don't have paralyzed heals. I hope I can find a good image of this online because I might have to put this as part of the thumbnail. Although, to be fair, since it's... It is an ice type. But considering that it's a game that I'm not sure if many people want to be spoiled, I probably just put a silhouette, if anything. But none of that matters to you guys watching. Also, I'm in danger! Super effective. Yikes me. Level 9. Wait. I just realized something. The battle style is on... Set? Yeah, I think it's set. Why is the battle style on set? I really like an explanation on that. Yeah, that makes sense. I hit through a paralysis. Why is the battle style on shift? Why is it? I guess I'll put mini up front. At least to get out of here for a little bit. I'm starting to wonder if I should just head back now. I don't know. Oh boy! This couldn't have happened at the worst possible time. I am literally in danger right now. Also, might be in my best interest to switch actually. Because he just traced my flame body. Actually, here's a pro play. Switch into Bulbasaur. If you take me out, I can just come in and fake out again. Because you have... Wait, don't you have Flame Body too? Okay, that's right, you have Flash Fire. Although at the same time... Oh no, I can't, never mind. I was about to say, I might get hit with Flame Body because it traced my Flame Body, but it's not... It can't happen because I'm paralyzed. Duh. No, oh, that's so cool. I don't know, is this like a... Mon? I mean, duh, it is a Mon. But is this like a fused Mon? Or is it like a legitimate new Mon? Because I don't, I can't think of what it'll be a fusion of. I see like Deoxys tentacles there, but I don't know. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to switch back into Fake Out. But like, I get hints of Deoxys with its outside design. I get hints of Mana Fey as well. Oh my gosh. But fake out shouldn't knock you out. Okay. I think I'm going to switch first. It might Thundershock. Oh, this is so cool. He embered and I pro played him. Please, I only have three Pokeballs. Have mercy on my soul. Oh, I feel bad about this. Okay. Mm well, this actually isn't bad. Even though I'm in danger. Cra Dude, it's crazy to think. But like, I've almost been recording for a half hour. But 
I don't think that uh, I only have one Pokeball. I should sand attack. It doesn't matter anyway. But I was so excited to get the Hoenn starters because I'm sure they're different. But I don't even think I'm going to get that far. Unless I cut out a lot from this. <sighs> okay, that's about as close as I can get. But at the same time, I'm not stupid enough to just leave without getting... Or throw a ball without being healed. Okay, this does a lot from my remember. Ah. Uh, well. This is my only choice. Because I don't think I'm going to outspeed with being paralyzed. Is this actually going to happen? It didn't happen. And I think I'm going to block out too. Yeah, I'm going to block out too. He literally got the five times. Four times. Never mind. I can't count. Perfect. Well, that was great. And the worst part is I lost money. So it's not like I can get more Pokeballs anyway. Uh, I feel so bad. I was going to name him Frieza because he's gold. Well, that didn't work. Alright, so... I'm going to need more Pokeballs anyway. If I can even buy them. Okay. Do they have the Premier Ball rule? They don't. Well, I got 10 Pokeballs anyway. I shouldn't need potions as much if I can just spam through the trainers. I would think. I mean, hey, on the plus side, I might be able to redeem myself if I find another shiny. Ice type Zorua? You know what? Not gonna lie, I actually kind of like it. Ice Ghost! Oh, that's so cool. But I'd rather get Cell Spin. That's not his name, but that's what his name is to me. Oh, wait, I just realized I'm gonna have to go through this all over again. See you in about 20 minutes. Would you look at that? I found another battle against Anthony. A Scyther I feel like I can... Handle? You're still at least a bug type? Looks like you're at least still a bug type. A bug dragon, maybe? I don't know. Oh, it's using Fury Cutter again, which actually gives it more strength. But I resisted. That was actually, that's actually pretty cool. Who's up next? Ella Kid. Hmm. Mudslap? I'm assuming you're a fire type? Oh. A ground type? I, oh no, it's probably a fighting type. Wait, no, fighting doesn't resist ground. Okay, that's super effective. Yeah, uh, shoot, I was saying earlier, I don't think I'm going to be able to get through this forest and challenge Brock before the episode ends. Because I'm already at 35 minutes right now, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get much further. I think this game hit me exactly where it counts. Puzzles. Is this the way to go? I don't know. I tried to get away from Jibanyan, and it didn't work, so now I'm just stuck with Mini. So, lovely. Okay, so I'm going to be completely honest with you. I've been searching through this place for at least 10 to 15 minutes. And I haven't found anything at all. Bulbasaur got Flame Wheel, which is cool. But I don't know in, how in the world I'm supposed to get to the town. Because over here is a dead end. I don't even know if there's supposed to be an exit. I would assume so. But I just can't find it. I'll stay in here for a little bit longer. But there's only so much that I can take. Because this game just boils down to puzzles the game. And I do not like that. But I think what I'm going to do before I cut this off. Is try and find another cell spin to capture. To at least see the type. And try to evolve Bulbasaur. But with the speed up button, it's not hard to get Bulbasaur up to 16 as well. And yeah, I guess I'll get Sweet Kiss on you. But from what I can say from this game so far, before I finish this, is the game's not bad. But it's just 
puzzles. And for someone like me that isn't the biggest fan of puzzles, it's a pretty big dick move. Best way to put it. Because, like, they literally go out of their way to try and troll you with all these puzzles. And the worst part is, like, at this early in the game, you can easily get shinies. But it doesn't mean anything because, like this, it can they can easily escape. And that's just, that's just a pain to me. Now, granted, they might be trying to make the game more difficult, but... Is it really make difference to make it more difficult just to make it a little more more aggravating? A Pokemon from an alternate universe. There's no information. Cool. And like I said earlier, because I don't forget what I said, at least this time, your name will be Cellspin. And I'll check on him after I get enough levels. Although my laptop is getting kind of laggy with the game now, so I might not worry about it just yet. Alright, let me check out Cellspin. I'm saying it's a... I have a, it's an item? Oh! Okay! So I'm saying it's a fire and electric type, but that's just my guess. Fire and electric. Because it had, because it had ember, and I know later it had thundershock. That's a cool typing. But since I have the lucky egg, why don't I just use it? Give it to Bulbasaur. And hopefully that will make the experience a little bit less tedious. But yeah, it would be different if they wouldn't make this game so much of a troll than it is. But that's just my opinion. My opinion isn't the only one, but just from what I've seen, I'm not the biggest, biggest fan of this game. Alright, so I'm up to level 16 now, so I should be evolving into Ivysaur if my recollection is right. And I didn't. Great. Okay, I'm going back to the Pokemon Center then. But yeah, all I can say from this game, in my personal opinion, is it has good moments that are actually pretty cool. Like the different typed mons, and even mons that don't exist, like Selpin here. That's pretty cool, but they kind of ruin it with the crazy puzzle there. Now, that might not be the way that I'm supposed to go, but that's how it is in the original games. And every corner I turn in that freaking forest is just, haha, now you gotta go back. And it's just like, it's aggravating. The, the puzzles are cool, and the increased shiny chances are cool, which I can only assume is a a thing because I got a shiny but it's just it's just not worth it to me if the puzzles were a little bit easier then I'd be down but it's just not worth it but that's only my opinion let me know what you think overall I still enjoyed this game I really like the different variations on the Kanto and Johto starters but let me know what you think down in the comment section if you have any other suggestions for Let's Play Turbo, leave them down in the comment section. And I will see you in the next episode. Moment high.